Hello, everyone. I'm White Cow. Nice to meet you. Today, I will introduce Cloudflare Pages, which allows you to easily create static sites and web applications. Before that, I will explain what Cloudflare Pages actually is. Cloudflare Pages is fast because it automatically identifies the server closest to the visitor. Cloudflare utilizes a globally distributed server network, which ensures that sites load quickly, regardless of where they are accessed from. A content delivery network is akin to having multiple warehouses around the world. Just as products ordered online are shipped from the nearest warehouse, website data is delivered from the closest location to your computer making it fast and convenient. On the internet, there are malicious individuals who may attack other people's websites. To protect these websites from such attacks, security measures akin to high fences and surveillance cameras are implemented. While creating a website might seem difficult, with Cloudflare Pages, it's as easy as writing a blog. Even without specialized knowledge, you can publish your website to the world with just a few clicks. This ensures that anyone can share their voice or business online, safeguarded by the digital equivalent of locks and alarms, democratizing the internet while keeping it secure. Let's leave the explanation at that and actually try it out. Choose workers and then pages. It seems you can also upload files rightly, but I will go with integrating GitHub. Cloudflare Pages provides an incredibly convenient workflow through direct integration with GitHub. The reason I released a video about GitHub repositories the other day is that integrating them offers many benefits. GitHub is like a huge online repository. When you place your website files there, Cloudflare Mages finds them and automatically shows your web back to the world. It's as if the files you put on GitHub are enchanted to instantly transform into a website. Thanks to these integration, managing and updating your website becomes significantly easier. Interestingly, this technology greatly enhances your ability to realize your creative vision. Now, let's proceed with the practical part. Since not everything is to be published, you select a specific repository on GitHub. The repositories you have created are displayed, so you select the one you want to show on Cloudflare pages. Because changes were detected, the system prompted me to try again, so I went through the authentication process once more. Cloudflare Pages and GitHub are now integrated and ready to go. The setup will begin. The GitHub repository name and branch name are correctly displayed. It appears that several presets for various web development frameworks are provided. On the GitHub side, there's only one practice file available. If you only include a practice file, a build process is not necessary, and specifying a build outlet directory is basically not needed either. Therefore, you proceed by clicking the Save and Deploy button as is. The build and deploy process completes successfully, and a URL is displayed. You can assign a custom domain to this displayed URL. However, when accessing it, nothing is displayed. Thus, you try accessing it by directly specifying the file. That is, you append the practice file name, which is on GitHub, to the displayed URL to access it. The content displayed is the same as the content of the file on GitHub. Next, I will try placing a simple HTML file on GitHub to check it. Here is the content, and I will save this as an HTML file. 
The save location will be the root directory of the GitHub project. Now that the file has been created, I will synchronize the content between local and GitHub. The video shows operations being done via command line, but it's relatively easier if you install GitHub Desktop. Although I am deleting files using commands, doing so through Explorer has the same effect. Just to be safe, I will also check on GitHub's page. The local and GitHub are now synchronized. An HTML file is present on both. Let's check it on Cloudflare pages. It was displayed correctly. Since we've gone this far, let's make this page accessible via a custom domain. It will also be an SSL supported page, which I recommend you all consider. As a prerequisite, you need to have already configured your domain's name server settings. I have already released a video about this, and there is information available on Lite, so you can easily get through this process. Now, let's go ahead and assign the domain again. On Cloudflare pages, you add a custom domain. It will show you the existing records and the records that need to be added. Using a CNAME record means linking your custom domain name to the domain provided by Cloudflare Pages. Using a CNAME to assign a custom domain to Cloudflare Pages is a setting that allows the display of content on Cloudflare when accessed via the custom domain. Therefore, whether accessing through the custom domain or the domain provided by Cloudflare, you can access the same web-like content. This process is also referred to as setting an alias. In other words, the custom domain acts as a representative for the Cloudflare pages domain. It is displayed as verifying, and it seems that it may take some time depending on the case. In reality, it took about a minute for the domain to become active. Now everything is ready. Let's try accessing the page we created earlier using the domain. The page is now SSL supported. Next, let's convert WordPress so it can be viewed on Cloudflare pages. According to the official site, this is possible by exporting WordPress with a plugin called Simply Static. I have added the plugin to WordPress you can use an existing WordPress installation or set one up locally. The setup is simple. You just need to enter the domain you will use with Cloudflare pages. However, as this plugin exports the site as static HTML files, features like comment sections and forms will be disabled. Having a local copy of WordPress for testing is recommended, as it allows for various experiments. When exporting a static site from WordPress, the content will be exported with the appearance based on the theme in use. It took some time, but now that the files have been created, I will download them. The downloaded files will be unzipped into the GitHub project folder. These folders and files will then be transferred to GitHub. This can be done using either commands or GitHub desktop. Since files and folders have been pushed before, they will be updated. Unfortunately, many static site conversion plugins do not directly offer the functionality to selectively convert and export only updated content. This is where GitHub's version control 
comes in handy. With the static content on GitHub, the page introduced at the beginning is displayed. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.